Back to California now, rise and shine as states reopen from the pandemic. We are traveling all around the country. John Quinones is in Los Angeles. Hey, John. Hey, George. I'm here at the beautiful Urban Lights installation, which is one of the many places now open in California after a long year of pandemic restrictions. Now, over the last several days, we've been traveling up and down the Golden State to find out how California is coming back. From the majesty of the Golden Gate Bridge to the celebrity of Hollywood, California has it all. all Home to nearly 40 million people, there's never a shortage of things to do in the Golden State. This is the world famous Pacific Park on Santa Monica Pier. For more than a year, all this was shut down, but now the gates are open, the rides are spinning, this place is opening up. Here, the world-famous Ferris wheel shuttered for 13 months. It started turning again in April. What was it like being shut down so long? Not a good scene to, to see when you come down to the pier and everything's closed and quiet. We really want to hear, you know, the kids screaming and having a good time and enjoying everything. Up in Northern California, in the Livermore Valley outside San Francisco, wineries like the Lineage Collection had to reimagine their business. Stephen Kent Mirasu is a sixth generation vintner, and the pandemic was unlike anything his family had ever seen. We're often dealing with fires and, and trying to mitigate and mediate the various things that we get. And you couple with being closed down for months on end, it was a really difficult challenge. Wineries in California making 90% of the country's wine. Mirasu and team's production stifled by a smaller grape harvest due to the fires but staying alive by serving outside and adding virtual tastings. It's a relatively recent grape in California. To keep the tradition alive. In nearby Tiburon, California, the family-run Tiburon Angel Island Ferry Company was forced to shut down, leaving Angel Island cut off from visitors. Hi folks, welcome aboard today. The company reopening last July, giving the community a fresh freedom. We're not just doing it to make money or to have a company. We're doing it because we love to see people coming out and enjoying it. For the guys at Program Skate Shop in Fullerton, California, their business stayed alive by teaching kids how to skate with pros showing the moves. Skateboarding is rooted in Southern California. We're all trying to cultivate that next level of skateboarder because that's what keeps it alive. But not all businesses struggled during the last year. For Laura Adekoya, her business, Floricel in Culver City, was born after she was laid off due to COVID. It's time to bake some cookies. Okay. So are you ready? I'm I don't ready, know. I'm ready. <laughs> With a passion for baking, she started making cookies. So food was always something that brought us together and my mom would always cook for us and bake for us and it's through her that I learned the value of sharing food with others and that's something that I've always wanted to carry on. Her treats gaining a quick following with Hollywood celebrities like Russell Westbrook, Jennifer Love Hewitt and Oprah. Her success emblematic of the hope so many are feeling as this state opens up. Taking the bite out of California. Ah, uh, tasty cookies. And there's more good news to come. In just two weeks, on June 15th, most of the COVID restrictions in California will be lifted. Now, masks will still have to be worn, but all businesses will be back at 100% capacity. George? It is happening all over the country. That is good news. John, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.